Hello, my name is Brandon Davis and here is the Creator Micro. I got it last night and I have just been programming it to set it up to work for me in my video editing on Premiere Pro. Uh, so starting on layer zero, it's my general functions as well as organizing my files and getting my projects set up. So on all of the layers, these two knobs are the same. This one adjusts my volume, and if you click it, it'll start playing the song that's the media available. Uh, this is undo and redo, and if you click it, it will quit to applications. Uh, on most of them, I, I'm pretty sure all of them, these are copy and paste. And then these four, these, these change with each one. So. These ones are also the same on each of the layers for delete and space. So these four, these eight are the ones that change. Uh, so on the general, on layer zero, you have uh, shift, command, alt, and enter. And then these four are new folder, import, synchronize, and link. So to show you, so I have these three files I wanna put into a project. So I'm gonna click a new folder. I'll bring it over here and I wanna change the name. I'll do sample, okay? And then I'll, I'll shift, click all of these, put it in, and I have all of my files organized. Now let's jump into the Premiere project. So over here I'll hit import and then I can find on desktop, sample. I'll go ahead and hit enter. Let's select all of these, but say, actually, I'm just gonna select these two, so I don't wanna use that, I'll use command. So now, um, so now I have this, this file and this audio file, okay? So now let's go ahead and grab this over here, and I wanna synchronize these, because I used a microphone when I recorded this, so I'm gonna synchronize it. And then I'll just line these up. And then I'm going to just replace it. So now I got rid of the, the source file from this clip and I wanna link these, okay? So now I'll select both of them and just click link. And so here we are, just like that. So then the next step would be to go into layer one. So now for layer one, this is for rough cutting the raw files of videos. So right here, uh, you can see this button is J, this is L. So that's moving forward in time, and that's moving back in time. If you click them twice, it will go twice the speed. Same with J, it will go twice the speed backwards, okay? This is still space, uh, so you can stop it. This button here is to add an edit. So it's to clip the video, split the video. So click it here, and now you can see I'm working with two different files. On layer two, this will be to add, use the razor tool. So it's the same function, but slightly different. Uh, this button is to enable or disable clips. I use that all the time, and it's very helpful. So say I want to clip this part where the drone comes into view and I catch it and it turns off, nice. I now click this button to raise it up and then if I wanted to lower it, I can lower it again. Um, and now these two, this is alt and this is to paste attributes. So say I tilt this video and I want this one to look the same, I can click here, copy, paste. Choose motion and it'll paste the attributes. So now look. Now that's different from if I just hit paste here. That will just paste the actual clip. So layer two is for editing. So these six are still the same as well as this to move forward in time. This to enable and disable clips and this to paste attributes. Those are all still the same. Uh, now the things that are different are, this is shift, so you can shift click things. This is the letter E, which trims the video to your playhead. Um, and this is default transition. So here you can see uh, it just goes from that shot, bow cuts to that shot. Uh, this will add a default transition to your clip, so now it will flow. 
um, and then that does audio and video default transition. And this is the razor tool. So when you click on it, you can then have some finer adjustments for razor tool. You can click cut whatever you want and then switch to the select tool to cut it. So, and then the last layer is the color panel layer where these two top two buttons will toggle on and off the, the RGB. This does the keys. This does the, the board. Uh, all these eight are for the modes. So the different modes like here, this is for hue, uh, this is for brightness, and then uh, these are to change the type of mode for the keys, like what the keys are doing. Uh, yep, and that's pretty much it. Hope, hope you got something out of that.